brand new Strixon ZX range. That was the seven. I've got the five and the four as well with me. Should we see what they're all about? Who could game them? Uh, I was lucky enough to go to Strixon's HQ, Huntington Beach, earlier this year to be talked through the clubs by the people who made them and test them. So I've got numbers coming from in front of the people who made them. We've got the tech coming from the people who made them. Me out here on the course, trying to do him some justice. So with five, seven and four in the ZX Mark II irons, we're getting much of what we've already seen, which is a good thing because these irons have like got crazy cult status. So seven being the most kind of players one before you get to the ZX Forge Mark II, then the five, the middle ground. So a bit of everyone, if you want help, but you want good looks, feels, those kind of things. We'll go more into the tech with the guys and girls at Strixon. And then the four, this is the one I game. This is the one I think that's had the most cosmetic change because it's really now starting to blend so much more with the other two. The lofts are gonna be different, which we'll talk about because I definitely combo a little bit with these as I game this one up here, the chunkiest, the four. But they've really moved it much closer, these in the look, which I think is a great thing. So now we're really starting to think about, you know, you could go seven, you could go Z Forge, which is the bladed one, which we haven't got here. That's a separate video on itself. You could go like a bladed wedge. You could then go to a seven in a, like a nine and an eight, and then into the five in the you know, seven, six, five, subject to what you do. And then into the ZX four, into the five, four, and three, depending on where you go. Like there is definitely options of blading these a lot more and they've really brought them closer. And for me, that's a great thing because I played ZX4 because I actually quite like the look of it, bearing in mind it's like a power bat and it's only got even nicer, which I didn't think they'd be able to do. So ZX7 to kick us off looks absolutely delicious. It's a lovely little shape, quite a flat top line, but medium, um, not too big a head shape. You know, this is going to appeal to players and already is like that's what they're hedging towards in their bags. You see less and less of the blades nowadays and I'm loving it. Look at the top line. It's such a clever shape, I think, with the Strix. And so it's a medium top line. They kind of round off the back of it, quite a flat top line. So you are actually getting a decent amount of help in these. But at the same time, in player's position, you're getting what you desire which is for lots of people in this bracket, something that looks really nice and feels super nice like that did. So how's that gonna compare up to the five? We see a slightly different barring on the back, very similar looks on the top line, like seven and five are so easily interswitchable if you do want that little bit of help in those blending options. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Will I notice a difference in the feel? Not really at all. They sound very much the same. Like I reckon blind testing, you would struggle to tell the difference between those two. Which you would want, wouldn't you? You would absolutely want in the comments down below, which one's which? If we call this the left one, this the right one, in the comments, which one is which? Go and post your comment, let me know. Can you tell from that look which one's which? The left one is which one? The right one is which one? So here we go, reveal the left one is the five and the right one is the seven. Like they're so blendable. Right, let's start mucking around now. This is the one I game ZX4, definitely the most noticeable in its cosmetic change. Still expecting healthy lofts. It definitely looks chunkier. If you want a certain look, you wouldn't go for this down in the short irons. But as a power back goes, I don't think you find think something out there. And there's not many clubs out there that would compete with this for the looks. Oh, and I've hit that pretty average out the toe and it's done so well. Oh, these clubs like me out the toe. That's ridiculous. Um, again, the outside, the feel between those three is, oh, it's slim, like it's hard to pinpoint the feel. Even in the four there, as a game improvement iron, it was feeling pretty spectacular. Should we see what Strixon are saying about the tech of these irons when I spoke to the people who made these irons? Let's see what their brief was as I test to see if they've achieved that said brief. So what's the difference between seven, five, and four? The seven, five, and four, they're all designed to look very similar at a dress, but you'll see subtle differences between each individual iron set. So the sevens 
More of our players type irons, a touch more compact, a touch narrower sole width. Five's in between the two, so it's a little bit longer blade length, a little bit wider sole. And the four has the longest blade length, the widest sole. It's our most forgiving of the, of the three models. Now, when it comes to all three, what, so do they use the same face technology in all three? Two of them do. The four and the five are both two-piece construction, so they're able to do a mainframe face technology. That's that variable face that helps with the ball speed, helps with the launch, helps with the forgiveness where the ZX-7 has the pure frame, and that's really focused on feel. So those, the, 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 the players that really want to emphasize the best feeling irons, we have the pure frame technology for you. Are they all made from the same material? So they, are they all forged, or one's got a forged face, I think? Or what, tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, the ZX-7 is a one-piece forge, the ZX-5 is a two-piece forge, and the ZX-4 has a cast body, but a forged face. And they're all designed to be our premium feel, the best feeling irons in golf. Do they all have the same sole? They all have the VT sole, just a little bit of a different variety or flair to each one, depending on the player type. So a lot of that goes into the sole width and where the CG location needs to go, but also the swing style. So the ZX-7 is kind of built for that steeper player. ZX-4 is kind of more of that sweeper player, um, just kind of that's how the, the market the trends and is, types yeah. of playing styles. And if I was looking for the most friendly out of those irons, which one would I be going for? So I'm like hitting it all over the face and I want as much distance as possible, which one's gonna suit me best? The ZX4 is definitely our most forgiving, longest iron set that we offer. Uh, it has all the technology of the ZX5, uh, but just a little bit larger and higher MOI to help just those extra miss hits go yeah. the same distance as your good shots. And then a seven, is that closer to your blade or is it closer to the five? Or is it literally just right in the middle? It's, it's a good question, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's it's closer to the blade just based on the construction, yeah. but performance-wise, performance-wise, we've had a lot of the positive feedback with the seven, and we've had a good amount of our blade players go into the ZX seven because they're noticing the benefit of playing yeah. something a little bit more forgiving. So they're getting that look they want, yep. but then they're getting feel and performance of what they want from that blade. Is exactly, that kind of what yeah. And then even at the top of their bags, they're putting in the yeah. ZX fives, and some of the ZX U's may go and play. But we're getting a lot of ZX fives between the fives and four irons. So this is the reason I used the four, which was pretty much the worst hit. There's the five and the seven over there that did pretty good. That's pushing me to my limits from that back tee with the club I've got. So you can see they're packed with tech and they've not, I mean, they've not massively changed from models gone by. I think if you have the Mark One, I don't think you need to be rushing out to get this one. But if you're new to this kind of bracket of golf club, any of these three, maybe this one that should be in the test brackets. So I've got the three wedges here, and this is now even where my story starts to get into the blend option. So I have this pitching wedge, but it acts more like my nine. So then I put this pitch, pitching wedge in in the seven. So I combo, uh, sorry, I have this pitching wedge in the four. Sorry, I have the four, and then I have the seven. Um, just give me actually a pitching wedge that blends more with my gaming wedges, 52, 58. So if we look at the three wedges here, we start seeing you know, lovely shapes that are consistent through the set. The four is definitely the one with the most offset and the chunkier top line, as you would expect. So you can see the chunkier line compared to, again, seven and five, just a seamless with their blend. And they're great little shapes that will absolutely mix in with whatever irons you're using out there when it gets down to your gaming wedge. This is the five. So we're crossing over those feels that we're getting from the more forged feeling clubs into these wedges. Second time's always better, you learn, don't you? Ha. And then the four is the chunkier, but again, remember I'm using the four more as my nine. So this would be a nine iron run, or I, if I wanted to use a pitching wedge, I would go to my seven. And I think we need to really start moving away from thinking that we buy sets of irons. I would like individual sets of irons to be fitted for players, which I'll do a video on that because it's a bigger subject, but I'm fitting each club. I'm not fitting in a set. I'm fitting each club almost independently of each other. And I have the opportunity, but you deserve that opportunity. You're the ones paying for all this equipment and you deserve for something that's such high ticket price. I think to get better options. This is how I'm able to have two pitching wedges. The chances of people having two pitching wedges, you know, is really slim in the modern fitting world and it needs to change, it needs to get better. Certainly as manufacturers bring out sets like this that are so interfittable, basically. 
So we've got some five irons now to test, and this is where definitely the four for me is just gonna win through. I don't even game the four iron in this set. I stop at a six iron. So let's start up at the five iron again. We're crossing over to the beautiful looks. And to be fair, you know, as a five iron goes, which really is four irons, isn't it? For modern or old school players. And yeah, I mean, this is gameable. It's certainly, the four is gonna be friendlier, but I think this still could be hit by quite a lot of golfers. I hit that nicely, like really nice. It feels so good. Like it feels crazy, crazy good. It's ridiculous. The feel of these clubs, and this is why I think they have this cult status. As soon as people start trying them, they think, oh my God, like does, they can feel like that. Again, I'm not gaming this. I'm gonna put a hybrid in. There's no point making golf harder, I think. But if you are someone who games longer irons, fives, fours, it's packing a punch for how slender and lovely it looks. ZX5 next definitely presents that fraction bigger down by the ball friendlier. Like it does look nice. I could game this. Again, I wouldn't because the hybrid's just easier to hit. It's a nice lowish flight where a hybrid's just gonna get up in the air. But again, that just feels super, super nice. Like so absolutely true to what you're putting in. Feels like it's coming out the other side. I think this is gonna be the winner for most golfers. It's such an amazing combination of looks and help and then in turn feel. And then the four, my gaming club, but in a six irons where I end. Cause again, like I say, don't need this loft in my bag really. Yeah, it's longer, chunkier in its looks. It's already giving me feels that I could do more with it. And bear in mind these lofts aren't matched. So this now is actually almost like a four iron. I can see that in the flight, like that's flown or certainly gone past the other one. Three good shots there, to be fair, that felt, again, I'm struggling to feel a difference between the three in their construction. And I think that's what they've done so well, which is blend not only the feels, the sounds, but obviously the looks as well to give us those options, which are more realistic now. They're more blendable. Let me just fill that. Why don't we take a look at the numbers that I captured with the team at Huntington Beach. I always love doing numbers in front of the people who made the clubs because you can see, you know, how much testing you do and you're pretty confident your club's gonna do what it does. When a human steps into these environments, we're different. We bring funk, human mess, which they're trying to tell a story. And as you know, from lots of your fittings, <laughs> sometimes our story's bigger. Let's see what the numbers come out like. Lucky enough for them, I'm relatively true with my numbers. So hit all three. Tell me about the numbers. Are we seeing what we should expect to see out of these? Yeah, we're seeing exactly what we'd expect, kind of with the trends between the models. So you hit the ZX7, ZX5, ZX4, so your player's iron, player's distance, and that game improvement set here. So yeah. as you'll see, the kind of trend in ball speed as you get up to the game improvement. Iron, quite a big jump in ball speed here. Uh, really seeing a, a jump in carry distance as well. Um, the good thing there, though, is everything's peaking out at the same height. So from this, it's kind of just a balance of what you want out of your iron sets. Is it feel, player's distance, forgiveness and distance, and kind of go from there for what your playing style is or kind of how you want to work the ball on the golf course. Yeah, and then we saw a slight, we see the spin dropping off, don't we? So the seven is the highest spinning at 5'8". Outside, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've, I've done a bit of testing inside to outside. That's going to be up near 7,000 outside for me. Yeah. So I'm around 1,000, 1,500 drop from indoors to outdoors. Um, so it's seven irons all that I'm hitting. They're, I mean, that's pretty much how I would like to see the spins go for the lofts presented. Obviously, the four being the lowest spinning, but it did present the lowest amount of loft. Correct, yeah. So it does trend. Um, this is your highest launching or highest lofted iron a little bit lower loft, and then the strongest loft out of yeah. the three. So, yeah. so they're following typically their seeing pattern. that spin trend, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And then the only thing that is quite interesting for me, I guess, is my ball speed standard deviation was slightly higher on the four, which is my preferred club. I do think that sometimes that's a little bit of me, because I'm so excited to the fact that some of those seven irons are going 200. Yeah, yeah. You, I'm thinking, can I go 210? Yeah, you, you're kind of you're kind of jumping on a few. You hit a, you hit a few here and there that were thin. I yeah. bet if we threw out some shots, that would, yeah. that would jump up quite a bit, even further, so. Yeah, and look, that robot's going to struggle, isn't it? Look at that. Look at the, look at the that is a, that's a machine, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that side angle. You can't really beat that. <laughs> that starting line is 
on the Ideal, money. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so pretty good numbers, pretty strong, and pretty so true to true to definitely a little bit strong in four, but that's what I like about them, basically. Yeah, and I think it's good. We, we do a lot of combo sets, so if you were struggling and, you're sick, yeah. and your distances were, were kind of packing up towards this end of the set, you could start going into that stronger loft and more forgiving head, and then that, that'll get you those nice gappings that you want throughout the whole, whole bag there. And you can see those numbers playing out here. There's the seven that I hit off the tee. There is the five with the four just being the longest. They're playing out as they should. What is delivered comes out the other end and definitely the four has a little bit of um, juicy, shall we say. And that's why I use them, because I need as much juice as I can get. So I think it's a really good offering from Strixund for this year, Mark IIs. They are a Mark II. I don't think you need to rush out if you've got Mark I. Go and try if you want to, but if you're looking for new irons, there's definitely something in here for everybody. And then the more we start thinking about when we've come to think about like who should game what, I mean, I'm gaming clubs that you wouldn't put in my hand as my bracket of player, but then at the same time, I've got the ZX7 in there as well. So I'm very much fixing and making each club work for me from the tools I'm lucky enough to have advantage to use. But you can as well, you spend a lot of money on these clubs. You need to push your fitters and your pros, whoever's selling you your clubs, to try and help you find clubs for each individual skill or not skill you've got with the different loss. Because the more you push them, the more they push the manufacturers and the manufacturers will just have to provide the tools to make the sales. Because making sales is obviously what the manufacturers are out there trying to do. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Is it something you would test or not? So I'm using my four here in the pitching wedge for the distance. I need to hit the ball. Oh, I feel so good. I'm so happy with the changes of four. Being a four player, I absolutely believe that the four is the most improved. And the reason I say that is because it blends now so much more with the other two. Looks, feels, sounds, everything. Loving it. Thanks, Rickson. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments and if it's something you might test.